Religious communities have been hard hit by this virus, especially the Mary Knoll community in Westchester County, New York, where three nuns and 10 priests have died. Joining us now is Father Raymond Finch, the Superior General of Fathers and Brothers at Mary Knoll. And Father, the Mary Knoll community has lived such incredible lives of faith, missionaries who've done so much good in the world. What can you tell us about the religious nuns and priests who survived so much in their lives only to pass from coronavirus? For over 100 years, we've been going out to Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Uh, the sisters who died had previously worked in Latin America mm -hmm. and in Asia. And the priests who died had previously worked in Latin America, Asia, and Africa. Wow. We're just grateful for their lives and the service they've given around the world. Absolutely. Why do you think this virus hit Mary Knoll so hard? Is there anything that could have been done differently to prevent this horrific outcome? As soon as the virus became a problem in the New York area, we were very careful about closing our doors, about prohibiting visitors. We were very careful about people separating and being in quarantine and isolation. So with the help of our, our health care staff, we did everything possible. And I think if we had not, it would have been a lot worse. Right. Uh, we, have over, we have over 120 people living in this building. Mm. So right now, we are very lucky. Uh, the, there were fewer cases, and we've already had 15 people who've recovered. Wow. I was just going to uh, ask you that. Is the virus <clears throat> dying down at all? Are people okay now? It's dying down. Unfortunately, there are still a few cases mm. of people who are struggling against it. Uh, but, in fact, they're holding their own and their situation is improving each day. Uh, so I think, as I said, we're very happy with the precautions we've taken. We're also happy with the care that our health workers have been able to give to our people. Sure, and how has this virus affected the work uh, the religious of Mary Knoll do? Okay, so our people are still around the world, mm. and obviously around the world, everything is in lockdown in most places. Right. But our people are still reaching out. So our missionaries in Africa have different situations. Some of them are in camps with refugees. They still have to do social distancing, but they're able to reach out. In Latin America, most of the countries are under lockdown. Mm -hmm. And again, people are able to reach out through phones, through internet, uh, to try to accompany the people we serve around the world. That's great. Glad to hear they're still able to do their work. Now, Mary Knoll has been very supportive of the medical workers during this crisis. Every night, you join Americans in honoring those on the front lines by ringing your church bells at 7. And we hear the Austin Police Department and Ambulance Corps sent you a sign of support. Can you tell us about that? Uh, they were here last, uh, not, yeah, last Sunday, a week mm -hmm. ago Sunday. They were here and paraded through, uh, greeted everyone. It was very nice. It was just one uplifting moment. It was great. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, it, it was very good. Um, how has the crisis affected the faith of everyone in the Mary Knoll community? You know, it's a time when we have to look and see where is God's presence in all of this. We're used to looking for God's presence in the brighter moments, but God's with us all the time. He never said it was going to be easy, but he did say, I will be with you until the end of time. So one of our tasks is to discover where is God present and hopefully to share that with the people we're serving, both here with each other and the people around the world. All right, Father Raymond, thank you for joining us and God bless. To be safe. Thank you. God bless. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.